you can see there's loads of apples. Loads and loads of apples. Apples in the trees, apples on the floor. And here of my yos with their ram, the old fella I bought. There's one yo that looks dead, but she's shaking her ear. She's asleep. Whoop, there we go, she got up. So they're all looking well. No bloat at all. No bloat whatsoever. You can see up there, loads more apples falling on the ground. This is when you have a diverse sward that they can graze, that they don't get bloat because they have medicinal plants in the mix. So they're all looking very, very well. This is the yo that had the lambs really late. The hog that I bought from Northern Ireland who had the mistake, two little black lambs. She's recovering beautifully, you can see. She's recovered very well, haven't you? You yeah, sweetie. She's slightly still skinny, but she's definitely recovering from her late lambing and feeding lambs. But look at all these apples on the floor and none of the sheep have bloat. Partly that has to do with, there's a lot of daisies, the little small lawn daisies, what people call in this orchard, and that they can graze to alleviate if they have too much apples in their stomach. But they're all in really good form and they've been here in the orchard for quite some time. So it's, apples don't cause bloat if you have the correct herbal mix for the sheep to graze. The sheep, these, this flock has been he in here since the 9th of September. So they've been here for quite some time. Isn't that right, Becky? How are you, old girl? How are you? Yeah, how are you, old girl? Yes. Hello, you. How are you? You good girl. That's Judy, who I bought at the Zwartblas sheep show and sale in August. Isn't that right, Judy? So all looking very well. A daily inspection. Isn't that right, Judy? Sweetie pie. Yes. They've all followed me across the orchard. <laughs> the other thing that a lot of people say causes bloat is um, clover. And there's loads of clover in here. There's also a bit of moss, but there's loads and loads of clover through here. You can see all through here, lots of clover. So it's clover and apples are always accused of causing <laughs> bloat. <laughs> you were being pursued by a sheep. Giving you, gave you a butt. Is that not what occurred? And Bear's getting ready to get in the jacuzzi. The dog jacuzzi. Hey Becky, old girl. How are you? Yes. How are you? They think they're moving to a new place, but they don't need to move to a new place. They're in quite fine fettle here. Even you recovering your slender frame from nursing your two black lambs. Hey, Pep, how are you? boy. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
No, not you guys. You guys are staying here. Definitely staying up here. You've got plenty of apples and grass and clover and daisies and dandelions and all kinds of delicious things here in the orchard for you to eat. So it is unnecessary for you to come into the walled garden, which I'm saving for when you have your lambs in the end of January and in February. Because the walled garden is the best place for lambs. Okay, ladies? Do you understand? You're not coming in, right? You're staying in the orchard. See you later, ladies. Good girls.